We've been trying with WASER to see whether the energy that is produced by WASER can charge a number of low energy devices that can actually be of use in areas without electricity or areas with very erratic electricity or areas where even if there is a certain amount of electricity not all the people in that place actually are, are able to afford uh, the electric grid connection. We said at the outset we want to have about 80% women and we want to give them an opportunity both to use the WASER to provide energy for services that can make the quality of life in rural areas much better, like better communications, better lighting, better transport. But also we would like to see if this WASER machine is actually capable of acting as the stimulant for a, a micro enterprise. Because this is a long way from anywhere, it's a very traditional society still. Man is boss, man tells wife what to do, man tells children what to do. And so there's been a, an inbuilt challenge to the project. Above all, it's a challenge for any outsider coming in because however well you think you know Africa or a particular corner of Africa, the thing about traditional cultures is that they're both very simple and very complex. David, explain how we... Cell phone charging, um, light charging, uh, those are the two primary uh, types of service and we've actually tried to encourage the pioneers to focus on these types of service initially until we could get a feel how they were managing with the WASA. Uh, but there is scope for other types of, of activity as well. There are some that are really struggling along on the bottom and they make perhaps two or three cell phone uh, charge sales a day. So we're actually talking about somewhere around about a dollar. But then there are other projects that are reporting being able to earn up to 20,000 kwacha. I fell in love with Antoinette the first time I met her because uh, I said to her, how easy do you think it will be to have a successful WASER enterprise? And she looked at me and she smiled and she said, we will be a successful WASER enterprise because we are five strong women. She's a saleswoman. She, she Give her something and she can sell it. She's currently combines with the WASER business. She runs the restaurant and she sells eggs, she sells bread, she sells rice and she's eager to get more money in order to go uh, over to the lake, uh, not far from here, and get fish. They like the Waser very much. They love the machine. They also like the status that it gives them in the community. And when you begin to get money in as a result, then you're really beginning to, to feel power. Because the people here, they don't have electricity. Men, they use only batteries to use for TVs in their villages. So that when you give us a big one, a big weather, we can charge batteries so that we have more money. There are enough people here who are reporting success for us to feel that there is a viable future for this type of business. I remember Antoinette saying to me, oh, we love the Wazer, we are popular now in the community. And uh, I can understand that, it's nice being popular. <laughs>